Hey guys, it's Sierra and welcome or welcome back to Skincare Monday. Today, we're going to be breaking down the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask. Oh my gosh, guys. So I've tried this mask a few times already because, you know, I didn't want to come on here on First Impression because you guys roast me every time I come on here on First Impression when it comes to skincare Mondays. I learned my lesson real quick and I stopped doing that. I'm going to say that this mask, guys, this mask is something special. So let's break this mask down. But before we break this mask down, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to see you guys back. Cue the transition. I don't know what I was trying to do right here on my face and I'm going to be really mad at myself in the morning. I, I don't know why I decided to pick up my face, but it's done, it's over with. Let's move forward. <sighs> If you don't know about Summer Fridays, Summer Fridays is a little bit of a higher end skincare brand. I wouldn't call it luxury, but I would definitely say it's on the higher end of the spectrum. So this retailed for $44. It has 2.5 ounces of product or 64 grams of product. It is for all skin types, normal, oily, combination, and dry. And what it claims to do is to be a clarifying mask that uses vitamin packed pumpkin and exfoliating apricot seed powder to polish away dead skin cells for a luminous effect. Okay, so if you have fine lines and wrinkles, if you have pores, which we all know that around my nose is poor city, dullness, uneven skin tone, all of these things, this mask is supposed to do the trick. You're supposed to use it twice a week and you're supposed to see over time really, really good results. When I saw this product, I instantly wanted it because for one, it has no fragrance, it has no silicone, it is gluten, vegan, and cruelty free. You guys know how I feel about fragrances in skincare and this one checked off all of the boxes when it came to the ingredients that I look for in a skincare product. Now, when I compare this up against the one that everybody talks about, I'll leave a picture of it right here, the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. What I noticed is that the Overtime Mask actually had better ingredients overall than that Jet Lag Mask, even though the Jet Lag Mask is like a holy grail. I have never tried it. I am gonna try it for you guys. I just haven't gotten around to it just yet. So let's break down the highlight ingredients. One of the highlight ingredients are pumpkin, which is packed with enzymes, vitamin A, vitamin C, to brighten skin. We all know that vitamin C is amazing when it comes to brightening your skin. Apricot seed powder, which is a natural, gentle exfoliating powder, and it removes the dead skin cells and helps circulate blood flow to the skin, and beta carotene, which supports natural cell turnover, creating a natural looking glow. So all of those things sound really, really good. It's a clean product at Sephora. It has 4.4 stars. Now let's put it on our face. Let me tell you guys real quick, this mask right here smells like fall. Like it, it smells like fall. I just love the way this smells. It also has little beads in it. If you really look, I'll get it up close right here. So if you can see on my, you see that? You see the little kernels in there? Those little kernels are what is buffing the dead skin cells away, okay? This mask, guys, this mask, oh my word. The first time I put it on, I'm not even gonna lie, the first time I put it on, I instantaneously knew I was gonna love it. Make sure your hands are clean first before you do this step. But this is how you're gonna use it. You're going to apply it to your face and then you're going to rub it in. Get it in here because you want those little kernels to really get that dead skin off, okay? You wanna hit the neck. I'm not gonna go all the way down because I don't wanna get it all over my clothes. And then once you work this in, you wanna leave this on for about five to 10 minutes. Now, if you have sensitive skin, like skin that doesn't really do good with exfoliation and things like that, I wouldn't rub so much, okay? I would maybe do like a little one, a little glance over, but I wouldn't try to get too crazy with the rubbing because 
What I do notice is that sometimes I can go a little bit ham sandwich and next thing I know my face is beet red because I have scrubbed a little bit too much. So what I would say is that if you do have sensitive skin, you don't need to go hard. Just a little bit of a nice rub down. Don't go too deep, okay? That's just my that's just my opinion. So it says sleep on for about 10 minutes. I'll wait about like five to 10 minutes and then I will wipe this off and give you my final thoughts b r b okay guys so it's been about 10 to 15 minutes i'm back with brows and i'm here to give you my final thoughts this mask is absolutely lovely this doesn't have a ton of hydration in the mask i think that after i use it i definitely want to reach in and grab a moisturizer but it does do what it says it's going to do when it says that it buffs the skin and, and gets rid of those dead skin cells and you really do feel like your skin is much smoother than it was before especially if you use this product on a very consistent basis the fragrance is actually not fragranced but it does have a scent it is beautiful. It smells like pumpkins and fall and holidays, okay? It, it smells great. The only thing that I feel might be concerned for some people is that if you have sensitive skin, because it does have those little kernels in there, that might be an issue for people that have very, very sensitive skin. Other than that, I have no complaints about this product. I think that this is a great mask. And this is one of these masks where I haven't even had it for that long, maybe a couple weeks, but it's become like a staple mask for me in my life, okay? And that's saying a lot because you know your girl over here loves skincare and loves masks. And for me to already be like, you know what? You're gonna be heavy rotation, ma'am. That is saying a lot. I was just, hey, you, you don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe me. Go check it out for yourself. Go check it out for yourself and you let me know if this mask isn't great. You let me know if your skin texture, okay, isn't happy that it met this Summer Fridays overtime mask. Okay, you let me know. All right, that's my final wrap up guys. I love you guys so much. Please be safe wherever you are and I will see you guys in my next video.